division matchup. While drillers make killers and nobody works her takedowns harder than this young woman, she has become a force in this division. And even though the opposition oftentimes knows what's coming, no one's able to stop that shot. Nobody's able to stop that takedown attempt. No one's able to stop that single leg. She said, in the fighter meetings, I have drilled that takedown 5,000 times. Amazing. Over and over, I hit a single leg. Every day of the week, I hit at least 30 single legs. I'm like, well, is wrestling practice every day? She goes, no. I just want to make sure that I have a skill that is so dominant that no matter how much you practice it, you are not practicing it enough to stop me from taking you down with it. It is truly crazy to watch her approach to getting that single leg off. And her ability to get her opponents off balance in a mixed martial arts setting, as special as anybody in the sport right now, we'll see how it goes for her here tonight. Well, I'm not sure if she's a third degree or a fourth degree Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. All I know is that you are in imminent danger every time she closes the distance. Oh, the belt color hasn't changed, John, but they are <laughs> just adding stripe after stripe after stripe. <laughs> she's got so many stripes on her Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt that it's unbelievable. And because of that ability to do jiu-jitsu at such a high level, it's almost like you're going into biology class whenever you go on the right. ground with her. Because as you're thinking, if I do step one to get to step two, she's already on step five. Right. She's working on the finish before you even understand that you're in danger. The, the quick strike ability in the jiu-jitsu is something not many people possess. I cheated to pass my biology final in college. <laughs> I wish there was a way to cheat in jiu-jitsu, <laughs> but she doesn't need to. Big spot for her here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a kickboxer, making her professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 130 pounds, fighting out of South San Francisco, California, USA Mountain. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making her professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of San Francisco, California, USA, Merciless. All right, make the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, come out for you. Chuness Arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Straight punch lands. Huge knee lands. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. So both girls landing right out of the chute. And they separate. Nice knee in the midsection there. Timing her shots nicely here tonight, DC. She's doing a great job, but not only being active, she is so accurate. She's on point tonight. Right hand punches the clinch. She got the turtle in that kick. Beautiful body to land right under the elbow. 
just unable to quite find that range. Oh, there's that roundhouse kick in a lance for her. I didn't realize she had that in her arsenal. She has all the tools in her arsenal. So we should not be surprised when we see her do anything inside the office. You got that roundhouse kick or no? I mean, I do, but it looks horrible. <laughs> Oh, she's been working on her defense. Kick block there. Good body shot. Oh, that elbow did some damage. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown D? Some nice power there with the left hook upstairs. Nice punch to the head. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back, just truly mixing up the target. Sight to behold. All right, so a takedown attempt by her here, DC, but she's not able to get the fight together. She was not able to secure the takedown, but she has to disguise it a little bit better if she's going to take down a fighter as well first as her opponent. Trying to double up on that jab. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Nice punch here. Real sneaky body kick. Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant body shots here, attacking both sides now. She blocked the punch. And they separate. That is a nice jab by her there, as your boy Rosendo Sanchez might say. That was clean. It was so clean. What was one of the best? Oh, beautiful Imanari roll there. And now she's got a heel hook attempt, DC. Oh, saved by the bell. Round over. And the finish came just in time. Thought maybe she might tap there, but you know how tough she is. So the submission attempt right at the end of the round, saved by the bell, back to the stools they go. We'll see if she can recover in time for this next round. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1-level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, so second round getting underway now. Not a bad first round. Both fighters had their moments. Looked like at times they were just getting warmed up a little bit, perhaps a little bit of a feeling out process over that first minute. What's your thoughts on what we saw there in that first round? Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, is that a huge strike right there, DC? Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down to get another one off the face of fight. I'm not sure her striking has ever looked better, DC, finding the range with relative ease here tonight. She's doing a great job of timing everything. She is seeing everything out there. A real sneaky head kick gets in there. Well, she's got a good jab, missed with it there. All right, so once again, the fighters engage. Oh, beautiful scramble by her there to avoid the takedown and get this fight back to the feet. All right, she's landed some pretty good shots here tonight, but still DC unable to string any solid combinations together. I just don't believe she's confident in being in there. She's very aware of her opponent's power, so it's making her limit her activity on the inside. Throw that out the window. You're the faster fighter, you're successful. Let those combinations string together. Stand. So she holds on to her here, not doing too much, really just looking to recover. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. Again, back into this position. Good punch land. Leg kick. Big right hook attempt, but she misses. Oh, 
and she lands another punch there. And now at this point, you can see she is going out of her way to target that cut near her opponent's head. As she should be. She needs to be taking advantage of the work that she has put in. When a person has beat up legs, you continue to beat the legs. So when you get them cut, you continue to attack that cut. Man, look at the redness appearing on the left side of her body there. That's starting to really add up. Nice loop and punch. Back and forth we go. Oh, big knee there. Oh! Just out of range with that right hand. Right hand on point. Well, a punch like that would have felled lesser women, but she survives and gets to fight another round. She's as tough as they come. She's sitting on her bench right now telling her coaches, I'm good. I'm ready to go. That was just a moment. I'm still going to get the victory. I believe she has to change something. She cannot continue to do the same thing and expect a different result. All right, so the previous two rounds, pretty entertaining, DC. We'll see who has the upper hand here as this next round gets on. Very evenly matched fight, and we knew exactly this when they were matched up. We were excited about the fight. We kind of expected this to be very even between these two talented fighters. All right, so she continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like she did in the previous round. As efficient as any striker in the division, this is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Establish that jab once again. That one stuck in. Nice strike. Oh, she blocks the punch. And they separate. Right hand punch from the clinch. With such a fast leg kick. Man, she can hardly stand now. And if she was a step behind before when she was fresh, how do you think she feels now that she's barely able to step on that leg? Takedown defense holds up. Well, it's one thing to be confident in your chin. It's another thing to leave your head wide open. Oh! The first striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's gonna finish this fight. Throws the punch there and connects. Nice job by her there. Nice job. Nice punch. Oh man, I thought that was gonna connect, but once again, she's just super effective at slipping strikes. Little. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Kick. There she goes using her jab effectively yet again. Her opponent's got to raise that guard or this fight could end. Well, she's going to have to do something. I think she needs to move her head off the center line because hands go up, the jab goes to the body, then the jab goes to the head. If you start worrying too much about her jab up top, she'll just start pounding that jab right to your midsection, with, which then will just empty the gas tank. 30 seconds now to go in the round. And she connects with a punch there. We'll see if she can follow it up now. She's been landing at a super high rate. She's in a great flow right now. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. All right, nice job Byer to sort of shell up defensively here and prevent any of these shots from getting through. She is taking no damage because she's so on point defensively. Let's take a look back at some of the replays. You knew she came in with the book on her as a kicker, and her opponent did nothing to adjust. Her opponent didn't check one kick. So why would she not continue down that path? Why would she not continue to throw her hands just to set up those beautiful, nasty kicks? 
and she is landing him with full force every time she throws him. All right, so next round getting underway here, and if you look at these two women, you may think it's the start of the fight. Absolutely impressive where their cardio is at here as we hit this next round, and you wonder what it's gonna take to tire these women out, at least if the first couple rounds are any indication, they look like they could go 25 hard minutes with these. Again, back into this position. Big kick land. Sniff that one out as she blocks the kick. Oh. <laughs> Again, she chooses to clinch here. Well, she lands another strike to the body here, and the percentage is getting high now in terms of the body strikes landed. Didn't see a lot of that earlier on, making up for lost time here. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Good stick. Back in the clinch now. Beautiful leg kick for him now. Oh! Big diamond punch land. Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. She's trying to pass here. Gets denied. Got denied because she's so aware. So on top of the grappling transition. spot on the ground and you want to reverse it that's what you need to do master class in changing position unreal to see oh nice job by her to posture up there now we'll see if she can maintain that separation she has to recognize that her opponent will start trying to squirrel away now but look for her big grounded bomb with conviction, she moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass from her full guard right into half guard. Useful strike there, the ground and pound on point tonight. Oh, well played there as she gets back to her feet. Can't take many of those, better check. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. <laughs> Head back there, this could be the end. And just like that, the fight is over. Wow! Oh my goodness, what a fight. That'll get the crowd on its feet. A near perfect land to end the fight for her here tonight. Just the way she drew it up, she had her focus on the knockout. And that's exactly the way this fight ends. I'm not even sure the opponent saw the shot coming. They oftentimes say it's the shot you don't see coming that spells your fate. And that certainly spelled her fate here tonight. Well, that's a knockout they'll be talking about for quite some time. What a moment for this fighter here tonight. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 21 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout. Mountain. Well, there she is, and you can be sure there's going to be a long line at the after party tonight after what she was able to accomplish tonight. I mean, she will be as popular tonight as she's ever been because no one forgets a knockout like this. It'll be on TV. It'll be on the news. It'll be available everywhere she turns for the next few weeks, and this is a massive moment.